Today on the channel from Storm Collectibles and the Golden Axe line, we've got Death Adder. The spirit of the warrior will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Golden Axe unboxing and review, of course, by Storm Collectibles, the Golden Axe figures. And today, we've got the head baddie, we've got Death Adder. But remember, for all your Golden Axe needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So Big Bad Toy Store coming in hot with a lot of these Golden Axe figures. And Death Adder, much like the skeletons uh, in this wave or collection, I guess, of Storm figures of Golden Axe. A lot of different color variations on this one. There is a more of a uh, greenish kind of purplish one that's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from a year or so ago. There's also a Death Adder Jr. that is in a blue color. Of course, this one in a red color. Not sure how deep down the rabbit hole I'm going to go. I think I'm fine with maybe just this one, possibly the blue one. Uh, we'll see what happens. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing and review like we do all the other unboxings and reviews on the channel here. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's look at the packaging here. There's old Death Adder looking mean, looking very uh, scary, looking like a video game bad guy is what he really looks like in Death Adder right there. Big window box, not as bad as some of the Storm ones, but that cellophane really does hurt the figure in my estimation there. Uh, on the side, we get him looking all mean and bad again. Same thing on this side. And then you get the back, a little glamour shots, a little action figure glamour shots going on. Bunch of skulls in the background as well. Storm collectibles, UPCs, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff all throughout here. But it looks good. Golden Axe, of course, he's got uh, some skeletons around him. And we got a lot of skeletons, of course, many of skeletons in this line, as we do know. Uh, but this is a big figure. And without further ado, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's doing here. I'm going to slide him on out. A lot going on. Same background we've been seeing, kind of a Golden Axe little poster you can put up uh, for your background if you are so inclined. Stick that right off to the side, see you later. And then we get him in the big plastic prison. Man, this is a lot bigger of a figure than I was assuming. I knew it was big, but this is a big, big boy here. Uh, extra hands, got his big axe. Looks like we even got an extra head here. Very, very cool. So this thing just jumped up in my... Uh, like list a little bit because I wasn't expecting all of this. I wasn't expecting a big figure. And you guys know how I feel about big figures. A little cellophane. Bam! Spider-Man style. See you later. We got some big old hands going on. We got the big axe and we got the extra head. Can't wait to dive into that either. So off to the side. See you later. A gentle see you later because I do keep my packaging for my from my Storm Collectible figures. Uh, but let's look at some of this stuff. Let's break down some of these hands first off. And these hands remind me of E-Honda hands. And I do have E-Honda close from Storm Collectibles right here. Let's see if any of these hands match up. And it looks like they do to me. It looks like we're getting the most out of our molds a little bit right here. Is uh, Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. I thought it was close. They're very, very close, but just a hair different it looks like. So uh, that theory... Throw it out of the window. Throw it out the window. But we do get kind of the tiger paw, the old Michael P.S. Hayes hands right here. We got those hands. We got the big splayed out hands going on. Uh, depending on which, how you wanted to pose him, we'll try some of these for the glamour shots as usual. And we get two gripping hands. And then what is a consistent thing with all these Storm Golden Axe figures, fisted hands on the old Death Adder there. So choose your own hand adventure, as we always say. And then we got a big old axe, very, very cool, very, even a little bit of sharpness to it right there, but very golden, a golden axe, oh my gosh, who would have thought? Uh, some silver highlights there on the blade, and then gold throughout, but very, very good, golden axe, how fitting. So there it is, and then we'll get down to the figure, and we'll talk the extra head here in a second, but like I said, this figure is way bigger than I assumed he was going to be. And he is interesting. Now, hold on a second here. What are we doing? This is very different from some of the other Storm collectible figures of the past we've unboxed here, as we don't have the necessarily uh, the articulation we're used to with Storm collectibles, as this looks like wall one piece. Basically, pinless joints is what we're looking at here, because that is one gripe I have against Storm figures, is usually the elbow right in here. It looks very mechanical, really does take away from the sculpt. We don't have that here. But look at that. The arm still does move. So this is next level pinless joints right here. I mean, this looks like it wouldn't even be able to move, but it actually does. 
Very, very cool. I wonder why this got this technology and the other ones did not. Uh, it doesn't feel like it has the same, as much range of motion as like the Axe Battler, but I kind of feel too, it's a big dude. The bigger you are, the less articulation you probably need. Safe to say. Uh, and this guy is a big, big dude, as we did mention. But boy, that is one thing that really sticks out is uh, it feels really good and then no uh, pinpoints, no any articulation. It looks like one smooth piece. I like that a lot. Hands removable, as you can imagine. Two big fists going on here. Uh, you can move those around however you want to. He does have his big helmet on. It's got some scuffing, so you can see underneath that red some silver because, hey, guess what? This is a guy that's been in some fights. He's seen some things. He's got a big shoulder piece going on like a football player. And the helmet is removable here, which I was not aware of going into this. So you can take the helmet off. You do have two heads here, two very different heads. You get a very non-abrasive uh, head, just kind of a guy going about his business head. And then this one, you got the teeth shining. The eyes are bright, bright yellow. This is a guy that truly means death. Uh, but very cool, very charred head here. Very awesome. Got all the veins in the head, as does this one. Very, very cool head sculpts here. Very, very nice. Uh, was not expecting an extra head with this either. Uh, waist articulation, yes, we do have it. There is no ab crunch with this one, uh, but we do have waist. We do have the thighs that, or the legs, I should say, that do move. But his skirt, he's got uh, quite the fashionable skirt here. does limit some of the articulation. Uh, we got the black piping against the red on the skirt. does look pretty good. Uh, the knees are very similar to the elbows, so you do got a big movement there. And then the shin guards here are like an extra piece, almost like a, a diaper, it feels like. I mean, it's very different than the hard plastic we're used to in most toy lines. Uh, all the way down to the feet where you get the ankle articulation side to side, up and down, and toe articulation. But man, this is a big, big bad dude. He is a tall guy. Uh, with some interesting articulation that surprised me here. But I definitely do like it. You definitely need the bad guy against the good guys. Like any kind of collection, you got to have some of the bad guys. But let's compare him for size. Here's that Tyrus Flair. Look at that height difference right there. Holy cow. But obviously, these are about the same price point. These guys are a little bit more, but they do come with dragons. So we got to remember that. Uh, we do got the Axe Battler. So you can put him right there for a little size comparison. Man, I just was not expecting this guy. I knew he was going to be big, but I wasn't expecting this big of a height difference. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention out there. And then uh, we do got one of the dragons. So let's see how the size difference here. You know, the, he's about the same size as one of the dragons. That's pretty wild, actually. Uh, very, very cool here. Very, very cool. I like this a lot. Uh, a very awesome set. This Death Rider blew away my expectations. Um, he is up on Big Bad Toy Store a cup as well with some of the other color variants. So you can maybe pick your own color you want. But I like this so much, I might get one more just to have kind of two side by side. Uh, it looks very menacing in twos, of course. A little army building kind of stuff. Just got to decide which version I want to get. Probably the blue one is what I'm leaning to. But man, I am very happy with these Golden Axe figures so far. They have blown away my expectations. Like I said before, Storm Collectibles, we've seen them in wrestling figures. We've seen them in Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, a few other lines. Uh, they do a great job in these figures. Uh, I would love to see more Storm Collectible properties that I enjoy out there because I do like these figures a lot. Yes, they are a little bit expensive, but as always, you do get what you pay for. And uh, these are slam dunks. I really do enjoy all these figures so far. And if you missed any of these other reviews, check them out on the channel. But what's your thoughts on the Golden Axe? What's your thoughts on the Death Adder? All in, all out? Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment box down below. Of course, like this video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Follow along at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. ProWrestlingTees.com. Pick up a t-shirt. Support the channel. And the best way to support the channel, as you guys know, Patreon, link in the description below, bonus content, exclusive content, early videos, and monthly giveaways, and a lot of other fun stuff over there on the Patreon channel. And best of all, you support the channel, so there it is. So for another Golden Axe unboxing, I am Kyle, and I will see you guys all real soon.